Ich habe immer die besondere Ehre, den Abend zu eröffnen, wahrscheinlich weil John meine kleinen Versprecher so mag. Also heute tue ich dir das nicht angehen. Also, willkommen zur Warm-Up-Party mit John Hammond, wie schon seit 100 Jahren fast, was? Danke sehr. Ja, ja. Dankeschön, Eugen. A special, very special introduction for me. I'm really happy. Uh, Eugen is a very special friend for me. This is the this is the place I had my very first opportunity to play here in Deutschland. Uh, it's a special night for me. I want to uh, say a big Dankeschön for everybody who came here. Thank you for coming. I have a wonderful band for you tonight. I'm going to uh, introduce everybody to you after the first erste Stunde. And uh, we're all old friends for like more than 20 years, you know? So by the time we're done with you guys, you're going to be old friends of ours. We hope you'll see, here, see you here in 20 years. Too, you know? All right. We're going to start out with a little bit of blues and get into the into the feeling of this uh, incredible room. There's so much history here, you know, Art Blakey played here, and Dizzy Gillespie, even Louis Armstrong, you know, I can feel those musical uh, performances in the walls here, you know. So uh, I wanted to say a very special thanks to the whole Jazz Color team for keeping this place alive and thanks for all the people here at Frankfurt for supporting this place. All right, this tune's called James and Wes. It goes like this. Thank you. 
feels good. All right. Hey, everybody. I want to introduce these musicians. I'll tell you one thing. I'm so proud of this band. These are my best cats in the world, you know? Yeah. I want to go all over the world with these cats, but you know, I can't because they got families and, uh, you know, some of them travel sometimes, but this guy has played with everybody in Frankfurt. He's my old friend. We used to spiel and spiel and spiel and spiel it. And he sounds so good back there on the schlag, so he might have done my hair. That's Giovanni Gulino. really lucky to meet Tony when he first came here. Maybe he had been here already for a while, but uh, this was a long time ago. There was a little uh, place on the on the, on the uh, Berliner Strauss, it's called the Jazz Canaper, and we, that's where we met originally. And now he's just gone so many places, he's all over the world. He's always been my number one favorite tenor saxophonist, Tony Lakatosh. in the string section. If, if it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't even know what a music mess was. He, he took me to the music mess. He said, you want to go to the music mess? I said, what's a music mess? He said, no, come with me to uh, Germany. You're going to like it, you know? And, you know, he's played with so many people from John M. Bussell and The Who to all. He's, he's mastered Duke Ellington's records. He's a wonderful engineer. And he's a, a great Fred. <laughs> Joe Berger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We, we call him the Burgermeister, you know? I tell you, I'm so lucky to have friends like this, you know? Because they got my back, you know? When you're in the music business, you gotta have somebody in your back. And 